Hey everybody, welcome to Two Comic Book Dudes. We haven't been Two Comic Book Dudes for a while. It's like always somebody else in the mixer. It's me all by myself, all by myself and alone. Aww. It has yeah. been that, yeah. It seems like the last like, week or so, it's been, we've been doing like other people from the site. Yep, you've been doing other people. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> so, this week we have a pretty cool uh, unboxing for Indie Stash. And this is a collection of independent comics every month uh, in a, in a in a package, not a box necessarily. Box is you know kind of an optional term, but in a really solid bubble wrap package. So um, it's pretty cool. And I guess you can find out more about them at indiestash.com. Yep, is their website. So check them out for sure. Um, I thought this had a little zip strip on it, but I. Those and, wrap sleeves don't. Nope. It's not fancy. So, I'll get out my weapons of miniature destruction here. And uh, hopefully not tear up the comics. Yep. So, lots of uh, lots of comic book stuff going on this week. If you guys had a chance to check out some of our other videos. Um, you know, we have the, uh, the haul. Of course, we do the preview show. We do our comic haul. We do our... Uh, Rebirth show. Oh my goodness, they're all jammed in there, aren't they? We did our podcast um, for the first time ever. That's right. That was awesome. Um, that was a lot, lot of positive stuff about the podcast, so that's been really cool. Uh, we will have another podcast as well coming up on Monday. We'll keep doing that every month. So, all right. So that was uh, um, Indie Stash. Just open it up. See yep. what's in here. Big, big thanks. Was it, it was Ryan that sent us this, right? Um. Ryan Wise. Yes. Thanks over at Indie Stash. Yes. So big, big thanks yep. to him for uh, setting us up with this so we could check it out for him. Yep, definitely, definitely appreciate it. So uh, first off is uh, a big oversized book called Moros, A Hard-Boiled Hero. Nice. And it says explicit content down here, so we'll be careful what we're showing you. This is issue one, $3.99. Uh, it is created by, let's see where the... The guys put their names at because it just says, "Oh, Josh Lucas is the creator here." Um, yeah, and the kind of tag for this book is Moros is a hard-edged vigilante who crosses every line in the book. Um, follow this troubled man down a dark path of destruction. That's cool, and uh, yeah, definitely dark and destructive. That's cool. It's like black and white with some splashes of red. Some neat. Uh, there's some cool fighting pictures good art you know pretty cool art um oversized it's kind of kind of I'm, I'm not used to it it's like too big um but it's cool it's like a magazine instead of a comic so a overall age book um so it's more like a magazine I mean, it's gigantic compared to a regular oh, book okay. you know regular book so sorry i moved the wrong way it's got like that much, that much extra to it yeah. um so you can check out moros on facebook m-o-r-o-s and follow creator Josh Lucas on Twitter at Josh oh, Joshua Adam Lucas. So Joshua Adam Lucas is his um, Twitter handle. His Twitter handle. So pretty cool. Um, overall, I'm, like I said, this is kind of an unboxing. I haven't read this one yet, uh, but it looks cool. I'll definitely check it out and uh, I'll let you guys know if it was nice. awesome or not. So pretty cool. Neat, you know, and it's neat that it's a first issue too. I think that's kind of oh, cool. Yeah. So all right, next up is Spirit's Destiny. And this is a cool-looking cover. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. So this one, um, similar thing going on here. Some cool artwork. Um, let's see if I can get the pages unpeeled. They're all kind of staticky, <laughs> stuck together, fresh off the printer. Here we go. I'll give you a little preview there. Some cool art and in interior artwork. Mm, nice. So it's pretty neat. Um, what's the uh, what's the tag on this one? I'm trying to find it. As a teenage girl who restores order in her city, will she be able to evade her destiny? Spirit's destiny. Um, Dorfies Jean is the creator. Dennis Knight, consultant. Zach Dolan. Oh, yeah, I, guess I was looking for how do you pronounce that? But it's Dolan. Zach Dolan and pencils, colors, and cover. Uh, Edwin Galman is a penciler for a couple of pages, some of the pages, about most of them. And then uh, St. Yak does the last one. St. Yak. 
Okay. Uh, Richard Perota and Alexander Malshev. Um, Malashev do the pencils on uh, the last half of the book. Uh, Lori Foster's anchor and the cover ink. Um, and a whole bunch of other people involved in this. So it uh, looks like another kind of vigilante type book. Um, but it looks like this girl might have some superpowers. So mm -hmm. pretty cool overall. Uh, neat, neat colors. Interesting. Uh, so Spirits of Destiny issue two coming soon. That's a cool, almost like a negative effect there on that. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. So cool. That's a pretty neat book. But there's uh, another one. Oh, yeah. And you can check them out at Spirits Destiny Comics, plural, dot com. Yes. And here were their, uh, maybe they were, uh, I don't know if they were a Kickstarter, but they had people who must have helped out on the book. Full mm -hmm. page there of uh, all the folks who were involved. Nice. Um, yeah, it says make sure to check out www.spiritsdestinycomics.com about upcoming events and releases. So, you can cool stuff. Get a t you can get a t-shirt there, too. Woohoo. Hey, awesome. All right. Um, here we have from Dork Empire, Inc. That's the the name of the mm. company. Um, Agent Wild, number zero. And that's, that's pretty cool. Color. Yeah, yeah neat, neat colors. And I like the, the kind of the lighting effects of like the fire from her fingertips there. Pretty mm -hmm. cool. Uh, let's see if we've got some. Just says Agent Wild Zero, created, written, and penciled by Don Walker. Inks by Larry Welch with Jeff Graham. Colors by Nicholas Chapuis with Jesse Hagee. Uh, letters by Ed Dukeshire. Ed, Ed does a lot of work um, in lettering. Uh, collect all four covers. You can go to dorkempireinc.com to check out more comics, apparel, and more. Um, so I like the art. Inter oh, yeah, the interior art is awesome. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. So, what is this one about? Pretty neat. It looks like there's some magical kind of stuff or some, oh, half dressed women. Oh, that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know, it looks like she's getting out of the pool or something there. Mm. So, nice. And then, of course, she has a skin tight suit. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, it looks like and some kind of sci-fi, techno, magical, weirdo kind of stuff. It's pretty cool looking, though. It's neat. I'll definitely read it. Yeah, no, it looks cool. I'm going to check it out, too. Yeah. And the last one... Oh, actually, no, there's two. There's, I got five books here, because i got an extra uh -oh. book on the back of this one. Um, so oh, here... Nice. Yeah, really... Uh, from Short Fuse, Grit number one. Nice. I've gotten. I've gotten. Uh, what I get from Short Fuse, um, like father, like daughter. Oh, okay, cool. So this one's Jordan Johnson and Max Milne, and uh, came in a, a plastic. So in the back of this is uh, Dustin Smith's Night Hunter, and it's oh, K N I G H T. Wow. So it's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So I'll pull these out and check them out. See what they are. Actually. Oh boy, okay. Um, there's some other stuff in here too, so. Um, interior art on grit. Very cool looking. Almost uh, invincible ish. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's cool. Um, oh, this is uh, the. Fo oh, Night Wasp. The, they did Night Wasp as well, short fuse. Hmm. So we, we talked about that last early yeah. last year, I think. Yeah. Um, so this one, Justin Jordan Johnson does uh, pencils, inks, colors, letters, cover artwork by um, DC Stwelpner, um, written by Max Milne. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, just a an interesting kind of like a kid who gets superpowers and uh, beats up the bullies. And uh, I don't know if his mom and dad are superheroes or what's up here, but it uh, looks pretty interesting. So I'll check that out one. Check that one out. See see what it's all about. Okay, on the back is that copy of uh, Night Hunter, awesome. Dustin Smith's Dustin Smith's Night Hunter, and it goes right into it. There's no no inside cover, but uh, let me see some it's action good. scenes right here. To show you the art. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, kind of cool. Some neat, uh, neat art inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit cartoony, but almost looks like um, GI Joe right now. The way the art yeah. is in GI Joe. I mean, so, it seems like cool. all of these books, like, don't be afraid of indie stash because you don't know what quality you're going to get. Everything that we've seen could have easily come out of any publisher that you know of, you know? Yeah. Like, There's it, a cool character. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. That's nice. That is cool. Yep. So, cool. I'll have to read the story find out what's going on. Um, yeah, but really no, no uh, imprint or anything on this one. It's just like they turned it out and sent it right to me. Um, usually there's like a, you know, this came out in 2016 or whatever, and here's all the stuff, but there's no, no imprint on that. So that's pretty cool. And that one was the, uh, <clears throat> Night Hunter? Night Hunter, yep. And the last thing in my package here is a print. And uh, it's got Hulk. <laughs> you know, supposed to be Hulk. Mm -hmm. And he says, no one's stronger than He says, seriously? That's the advice that you have for me. Oh, I can't see what he says in the tiny. And they paired me with this guy like we actually have something in common. Jeesh. And that's the guy from Grit. Oh, nice. Yeah, the guy getting the crap beat out of him <laughs> from Grit is this guy here. So, pretty cool. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know if each one comes with a print. It doesn't say anything about that in the, uh, in the text there, does it? Of what they sent us? Uh... Because that was cool to get a print. No, it did not say anything. It just mentioned the four books, not including Night Hunter. Yeah. Um, I don't know yeah if Night, some... It looks oh, like Night Hunter. I'm just saying, I was looking at their uh, Kickstarter. It looks like the Kickstarter was funded, I guess, in like February. Hmm. So okay. this could be, you know, something that has February. It was probably just went out to its backers, but it's Maybe. really cool that we got a copy of it and can take a look at it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, very awesome. So Indie Stash, pretty cool. Um, do, what are the prices on the uh, on the website? Let me take a look here. I, that's one thing I didn't check before we started doing this show. I was like, darn, I should have checked. It is... I'm expecting like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, maybe 14 I mean, really, think if you're getting four indie books at four bucks a piece, that would normally cost you like sixteen dollars. I would expect you to get a little bit of discount. Plus, you, you know, if you get a print every month, that's kind of cool too. Um, um, yeah. So you can get the indie stash digital sampler, which will send okay. you, you know, all their monthly books um, in their stash, you know, in digital format for five dollars. That's not bad. That's that's pretty good. And yeah. then if you want if you want the physical copy, so four to five books plus something else, potentially, who knows if that's every month, but that's only twelve dollars. It's really not bad. I mean no, it's if, not. off the newsstand you're saving four bucks right there, let's just say. You're picking up or you're going to a convention and you're gonna buy them off their off their you know, most of them are three ninety nine priced on the cover. Right. So four books you'd be paying sixteen dollars. Mm-hmm. So you're saving four dollars right there, and then that four dollars probably covers your shipping costs. So it's not bad, not really, not not bad at all. That's no, cool. it's really not. Like this is a, this is a great option for you know anybody just looking for books that they've never heard of, or they're just yeah. you know wanting to get some like cool stories and you know because because we can get so caught up with like the big two or the big three if you want to call it that with their stories and they just kind of continue and we've got these same characters. But yep. with this, like you're getting, you know, the ground floor of of these superheroes or of this, you know, antihero or whatever you want to say. Like yeah. you're on the ground floor, so you know everything there is to know about this character. And even if it's just picking up a creator who all of a sudden makes it big, now you've got that first thing that that person worked on as yep. they go on to whatever, you know. Or uh, I mean, a, a lot of uh, indie stuff gets republished later. You know, Image has, has published stuff like, um, uh, I was trying to think, oh, there's a uh, Dream Police. There mm -hmm. was a first issue that was published independently, and then Dream Police is actually a published series now with Image. There's a several several of them I've seen like that. So, um, Space Goat did uh, uh, Mixtape, which was originally published on as a, like an independent book, uh, but they're republishing it. And there's a bunch of things like that that, uh, that have come out. So you just never know what you're going to get. And you get some cool stories, you know. 
Um, it'd be really awesome if you got into this kind of thing and you get the one and the two and the three and the four of a series every month and they keep you going like that with a, with a series. But if nothing else, it's an entryway into the independent comics world. So you get some indie comics, you find out where to go get them yourself and you go pick them up. Maybe you only yep. do indie stash one month just to find out four new books. And then you go track those four books down and follow them and, and buy them and, you know, support for one thing, support your habit of reading comic books. But the other thing you're supporting the indies, the indie producers, indie creators. Uh, and that's really the, the big thing because the comic book industry is huge now. I mean, there are so many publishers, so many comic creators that it's easy to get into. I feel like it's easier than it used to be uh, because you think about back in the 90s, we didn't have the internet to produce comics on. You didn't have all this digital comics, all these different platforms to have your comics available on. You didn't have eBay to sell your, your uh, first issues. You know, you didn't have Kickstarter to help people fund your books. You did it out of your own pocket and then hope that you could find space at a local comic shop to promote your book or right. a convention or something, you know, and even those are few and far between. So it's, uh, it's definitely a different market now, but it, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like this. This is a great idea. Pretty, pretty neat. Yep. And I so. just went through, and even with shipping, it's still less than 20 bucks. Eh, not bad at all. Mm -mm. Very cool. All right, so Indie Stash. Uh, definitely check them out, IndieStash.com. Um, you know, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll give us a, a code we can get people like a couple bucks off their first uh, first month. We'll find out what we can do there. Yeah. So it's great. I'm glad we got the opportunity to do this one. Yeah. So, again... Just great value. Indie stash. So, yeah, pay no attention to my to our address there. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, again, I'll just run through the books real quick so you can see what we got again. Um, we got Moros, a hard boiled hero. Very very cool art. I love that on the cover. Uh, mm -hmm. Joshua Lucas on that one. Um, we had Grit, which is a, a cool looking superhero book. Um, Jordan Johnson and Max Milne. Um, we had Dustin Smith's Night Hunter. Very cool looking. Yep. Agent Wild number zero, which had some awesome artwork. I'm really excited to read this one. And not just for the, the pool scene. And Spirit's Destiny, which just had a, a cool feel to it. It does. Plus, I mean, plus the uh, awesome print. Yeah. <laughs> you can check them out on... Uh... Yeah, their website at Indie Stash, and they're also on Twitter at Indie Stash. They probably have Facebook too, I bet. I would assume so. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely check them out. Um, let them know that we sent you. Uh, two comic book dudes or comic booked. Let them know where you heard about them because uh, they're definitely a newer company getting started, uh, trying to provide some great books for a reasonable price and, and get the word out there about uh, about more indie publishers. That's really one of our, our missions is to, uh, to support independent publishers. So it's good stuff. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Go out and read more comics. That's right. Have a good one.